Welcome all, welcome to today's daily news analysis. Today we will be taking up the news articles of 16th January 2023. And let's look at the very first article which we'll be discussing in detail from the Indian Express. So this article is the crisis on our roads. Uh, here, as you can see, it is written, evidence-based interventions can radically decrease the crash fatalities. So what exactly is this article all about? It is written by two very well-known authors of Indian Express. That is why their opinions matter and their opinions become important when we look at the critical analysis of this article. It is more about the crisis that the crisis, the looming crisis, which is related to motor vehicle accidents and where evidence-based interventions are needed, which can decrease the crash fatality. So it is mostly about automobile crash about vehicle crash, about accidents, and about road deaths. So the pro problem, the how to tackle this problem, what is exactly the problem, the nature and extent of it, and what are the different uh, initiatives that the government has taken to prevent the road accidents and the crash-related death is something which will be discussed in this article in detail. So anywhere in any article, if you read the highlights of it, you will get to know uh, what exactly the article speaks about. So here also it speaks about three major important events which uh, which always is there related to an accident. And that is about public awareness. That is about some proper interventions taken by the government of government of the day, public awareness and also prevention. So in this case, you, we will discuss in detail about the different pointers which will lead to prevention of accidents. Okay, so let's look at the first page of this article. The first thing here that you can see is what are the steps taken by the government of India to avoid the road death? Okay, many more people are joining. So number one important area that we need to identify is what exactly is a road accident and what is the data related to road accident because when it comes to tracking, the data becomes important. So as you can see here that Number one, there are two important things. We need to label the different deadly accidents that are happening. Thousands of deadly accidents are happening. We need to label them as to where they are happening, like roads. It can also be airline crashes. But in India, what National Crime Records Bureau has found out, that in 2021, there are 4 lakh road accident cases in 2021. It's an important, docu important data which you need to uh, use in your answer writing, even an essay, if some kind of topic comes on crash-related death. National Crime Records Bureau has said that in 2021, 4 lakh road accident cases have been reported with 1.6 lakh fatalities, up by 4% from 2017. So compared to 2017, it is 4% more in 2021. And the exact data uh, is what you need to remember. In 2021, there have been 4 lakh road accident cases. So it's a very important uh, event which we need to focus because casualties are, in casualties are increasing and it is also a human tragedy in its wake. That is why data related to road accidents become important. What exactly is the data is NCRB data. And accidents, why the major three important event related to road accidents are mostly public inaction. So we need a lot of public awareness on this. And public inaction is creating. Now, this is a preventable killer. So public inaction is something which is deleterious. Since this is a preventable killer, public awareness needs to be taken. And also there is... Most of the cases, the road infrastructure is not good. So that can be taken care of by the government. The third thing is unavoidable and most high cost of travel. 
unavoidable and an accepted cost of travel where accidents just happen. So what happens when there are cheaper mode of transport? They do not cheaper modes of transport. They do not care about what uh, they do not care about the safety of the passengers. They drive rash and then the accidents happen. There are many areas, Maharashtra, Delhi, the traffic police both proved that change is possible. So for good examples, you can give it, give that December, good examples, you can give that in 2022, Maharashtra Highway Police and the Delhi Traffic Police both proved that change is possible and they broke away from this practice. So they created a lot of public awareness and they helped people understand that road traffic accidents are not good. Even in West Bengal, there is something called a safe drive and save life campaign. It's a very big campaign which is uh, there to prevent road accidents and road casualties. So accidents are those which are events that happens by chance without any apparent or deliberate cause. Most of the time when people are driving, it is mostly because of their inaction or ignorance that the accident happens or because of their rash driving that accidents happens. So it does not always have a very concrete cause. It sometimes can have no cause, just apparent or deliberate cause. And that is something which happens by chance. This is what accidents are. And as such, they will retire the world going forward. And also there is a commitment to treat crashes not as inevitable, but as preventable. So these are all preventable killers and public health interventions will, uh, if public health interventions are done properly, then you will see that accidents can be prevented. Now, the thing is, the article says that it is time we should stop labeling the deadly accidents or incidents as just an accident. All the deadly incidents are not just accidents. They can also be road traffic crashes. They can also be road deaths. So we should not label them as accidents always. That is what you can see here. How are road deaths labeled? Road deaths labeled are most often they are labeled as accidents, but we should not label them as accidents. We should rather try to find out the exact cause behind this. And since it is a preventable uh, kind of an event, we should try to prevent it by all means possible. We will discuss in detail about the steps taken by the government of India to prevent the road deaths and what exactly are the interventions. There are a lot of interventions. And of course, you know that there is a, a National Road Safety Month or National Road Safety Week. There's a separate ministry which is responsible for coming up with uh, evidence-based interventions. So that is what this article is also speaking about, that the interventions should be an evidence-based intervention. Evidence-based intervention means those evidences which, those case studies which you have got before, those evidences which you have encountered before, based on that interventions have to be provided since this is a preventable killer. So research needs to be done as to what exactly are the problems with respect to this. So that is what we need to take into account. The next thing is proper planning is also needed. There are always three things. Number one, public awareness. And the second thing is proper planning with respect to road infrastructure, with respect to steps or schemes taken by the government and also smart urban planning. So this high, uh, article also highlights that evidence-based interventions, proper, strong government action, comprehensive approach to provide roads, comprehensive approach to ensure road safety, prioritizing accessibility over mobility, and walking, cycling, smart urban planning, like public transport, smart urban planning, like public transport, crosswalks, bike lanes, etc., over high-speed driving and car dependency. So low-cost, low-tech intervention, low tech interventions can be adopted in every city. So what are the important areas? Number one, evidence-based intervention. Second, comprehensive approach. Comprehensive approach to road safety. These are the key terms which you will be using in your answers. Proper infrastructure. It includes smart urban planning. 
but I think accessibility over mobility. So the if the accessibility increases, like for example, accessibility of vehicles increases, then there will be less competition among the vehicles and rash driving problem will also go away. Also, if there are some lifestyle, important lifestyle changes among people like walking, cycling, using a bike or smart urban planning, then this will also reduce the different kind of uh, accidents. This will reduce the incidence of accidents, we can call it. Incidence of accidents will be reduced. Also, there is another important area which has been given here is low cost, low tech steps or low tech interventions, we can see. <laughs> Low tech, low cost interventions can be adopted in every city. And stay. So, political will is also needed. By framing road crashes as accidents, people perceive crashes with less urgency. So we should not label road death as accident. Because what happens when we hear that there is some kind of an accident, we generally do not pay much attention to it. Because we think that these are some uh, daily occurrences. This can happen anytime. But if we take the crashes as an untoward incident, as something which is preventable, then that will change the mindset of the people. And when the mindset of the people is changed, then any kind of government scheme can be implemented properly because government schemes success depends on the mindset of the people, depends on the, uh, depends on how people are perceiving the different cases. So perceiving crashes is something very important. And many people are perceiving crashes with less urgency when it is termed as an accident. So the previous question that I gave you here that how are road deaths labeled? They are mostly labeled as accidents and that decreases the sense of importance that one can, uh, sense of importance that one can give with respect to the crashes. Crucial interventions can be taken to prevent the crashes. Now we will see what are the crucial incidents that have been taken. There are different types of accidents like car accident, plane crashes or plane accidents, etc. We do not give much focus to aviation industry on these events. But now we will also give focus because it is something which comes under the crashes and these crashes can be prevented with proper intervention. So what exactly are the different initiatives taken by the government of India? Let's look at them one by one. First of all, of course, there will be awareness campaigns. So number one is education. Awareness and education. In this awareness and education, what we will find is National Road Safety Week. National Road Safety Week or month. This is done every year. Spreading awareness and strengthening road safety. Also, certificate course has been given for road safety auditors. Certificate courses. For road safety auditors, this is the answer of steps taken by government to prevent the road accidents or road death. Uh, for road safety auditors, safety week or month every year, certificate courses for road safety auditors. These are all done by the ministries. Second is proper road engineering proper road engineering, or we can say for both roads and vehicles. Both roads and vehicles. 
So what kind of engineering is done? Of course, number one will be road engineering. <clears throat> road engineering where high priority is given. High priority is given for identification and rectification. of black spots. Black spots are accident prone spot. You can make a note of this term if you need it in your essay or if you need it in your um, answers. Identification of black spot which are accident prone spots. On national highways in each I think. On national highways and uh, ministry has already identified that in the national highways there are many black spots or accident prone spot almost about 5803 uh, which is based on what kind of data is taken here it is accident and fatality data accident and fatality data now this data keeps on changing so we do not need to find out what, what is the recent data or what exactly are the uh, data metrics. We do not need to find out that. And also road safety has been made. as an integral part. Integral part of road design. At the planning stage. Now, Ministry has delegated powers to regional offices. Regional offices of MORPH, Ministry of Road Traffic and Accidents, Road Traffic and Highways. Regional offices of MORTH, which is Ministry of Road Traffic and Highways. Remember the ministry is being responsible for prevention of this. Now they have been given technical approval for detailed estimates for rectification of black spots. Persons with disabilities persons with disabilities they are also getting pedestrian facilities pedestrian facilities small small points but when you use in your answer the answer becomes enriched and examiner knows that you have a comprehensive idea about road safety since this is something which has been continuously in news and there are many small, small uh, events, awareness, which are taking place nowadays for the past two to three years to prevent the road accidents. And also international collaboration is being done with different uh, other participating organizations, mostly World Bank. There are many others, but World Bank is something notable because it is there in our syllabus. So these things, small, small points have to be remembered to make the answer comprehensive. Person with disabilities for them, pedestrian facilities have been provided on the national highways. For persons with disabilities have also been issued in the states and the UK. So these are the different events 
Uh, these are the different steps taken by the government of India. There are many others with respect to vehicle engineering. One we have discussed, which is road engineering. So let me remove this slide. Then we will have other pointers. The second one is vehicle engineering. The vehicle engineering, safety standards for automobiles. Safety standards for automobiles have been improved in respect of airbags. In respect of airbags, anti-baking system, tires, crash test, Wide vehicle safety. Wide vehicle safety. <laughs> Conformity of production. So it's called as W V S C O P. W V S C O P. So with respect to vehicle engineering, there are safety standards which have been given, just like for to control pollution, we have some, in, uh, <clears throat> just like for to control pollution, we have some uh, engine specifications. We have some standards. Similarly, here are some safety standards for automobiles with respect to having airbags, having an anti-braking system. All the cars are now having these kind of system. Proper anti-skid tires, crash test. Crash test is something which is even done in uh, it's a different kind of a test. The name is different, but these are even done by ESRO. So for all vehicles, these type of tests have to be done. <clears throat> Wide vehicle safety conformity of production. Now there is something called as a uh, lightweight vehicle, but this, this is something different. This is wide vehicle safety conformity of production. So at the time of production, the safety conformity, safety confirmations have to be given by the automobile producers. These are something which is done. Setting is enforcement. So third pointer is enforcement. The first pointer was uh, education. Second pointer was changing the infrastructure with respect to road engineering and sub pointer vehicle engineering. Third point is enforcement. As, as you all, all know that there has been a law that is passed that is Motor Vehicles Amendment Act. Motor Vehicles Amendment Act 2019. It provides for strict enforcement. Strict enforcement through technology. Strict enforcement through technology and strict penalties. Strict penalties for strict compliance. And enhancing deterrence for violation of traffic rules. So strict enforcement through technology and strict, which means you will see what the cars, where the cars are violating the rules. Like as you see in the highways, there are speedometers which prevent speed more than 60 kilometer per hour. <clears throat> there are strict penalties which are given, if you do not uh, take seat road belts, then you will get a penalty. If you drink and drive, you will get a penalty. Strict penalties, so that strict compliance can be promoted. The motor vehicles, uh, there are certain guidelines also in this act for protection of good Samaritan, and draft rules as per MV Act 
emergency care for motor vehicles. Now there is also some provision with respect to emergency treatment. So the MB Act 2019 also speaks of cashless treatment of victims. These are the pointers, important areas under government scheme. Cashless treatment of victims of the accident during the golden hour. During the golden hour, cashless treatment of victims will be done under the MB Act. <clears throat> so if your guys have taken the notes, then I can remove this. Have you taken the notes of this? Let me know in the chat box. So first was education, second was infrastructure with respect to road engineering, vehicle engineering, third was enforcement, where we have an act and regulation that is Motor Vehicles Amendment Act 2019. Question can come separately on this. What are the features which are discussed in Motor Vehicles Amendment Act 2019 and how it is helpful in implementing the preventable killer, which is road accidents or road crash? Question can be directly asked on this. Critically examine the features which are mentioned in the Motor Vehicles Amendment Act. Then you have to see that it speaks about strict enforcement uh, through technology, whereby vehicles will be directly observed as to who are violating the rules and strict penalties will be taken so that compliance can be made stricter. Guidelines are given for Good Samaritan and pr protection of Good Samaritans. Draft rules also say <clears throat> something about emergency care where cashless treatment of victims are given during the golden hour. Also NHAI, National Highways Authority of India, NHAI. National Highways Authority of India. Provision of ambulances have been provided. National Highways Authority of India has provided. Ambulances, all toll plazas. All toll plazas on the completed corridor. Of National Highways. 97 ambulances have been upgraded. The LS support, which is basic life support. As per EIS 125 and upgradation. So the remaining is under process, not needed. It's been upgraded to BLS. BLS means basic life support. <laughs> so they have all the equipments which are related to give a basic life support, oxygen, masks, uh, blood test kits, etc. Everything has been given by NHAI in the ambulances itself. So these are the preventive steps which the government has taken to prevent road accidents. Provision of ambulances at toll plazas at the completed corridor of each. Now let's look at the previous one. Basic life support. ALS is advanced life support. And BLS is basic life support. Steps taken by government, we have already got the answer. Why should road deaths be termed as crash? In general, crash is a bigger term. Now, there can be different types of death which are unintentional, which are uh, not related to any specific cause just because there was no proper awareness 
maybe the road infrastructure was not good maybe the vehicle engineering was not good the vehicle itself has failed brakes failed uh, maybe the brakes has failed maybe the tires have skid so it is not proper to term them as accident because it increases the magnitude of the crash rather we can term them as just crashes so that they can be uh, made an agenda for awareness made an agenda to show them as a preventable killer it is a preventable killer so for that matter strong government action can be taken on this proper implementation needs to be done so road deaths can be treated as crashes there are many other kind of crash like plane crash we often see in that geo channels the impact of the plane crashes so these things have been discussed here second way forward there are many way forwards with respect to this already i told you about some of the important initiatives now there is another initiative also by world bank the initiative by world bank let's discuss that world bank has actually given us dollar 250 million for india state support program for road safety india state support program for road safety is world bank us to dollar 50 million seven states under which so this is for seven states state safety program has been sponsored for seven states in which a single accident reporting number will be set up to better manage the post crash events in all of this single accident reporting number will be set up so any accidents that happens it has to be reported and a single one umbrella program it's a program in the state support program for road safety one umbrella program in which all the accidents have to be reported and the number has to be tracked so as to better manage the post crash events now there will be certain important features under the scheme under this program rather one is national harmonized crash database system national harmonized crash database system will be prepared in order to analyze the accidents a lot of data and data analytics comes here analyze the accidents to construct better and safer roads when you analyze the accidents it becomes easier for you to track the cause behind it and also to come up with relevant solution us dollar 250 million variables us dollar 250 million has been given uh, from the ibrd it also has a maturity of 18 years that is this world bank so what are the seven states where these will be implemented first is andhra pradesh second gujarat third odisha fourth tamil nadu fifth telangana fourth andhra pradesh Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal. These are the states. Also, any World Bank initiative. will of course be there for capacity building and uh, help to the common people 
So here also expansion will be given. It's called as fund network expansion. Fund network expansion. We live in us basic and advanced life support. Basic and advanced life support. First, responders. First responder caregiver. <clears throat> yes, it's a loan. First responder caregiver for them. These kind of initiatives have been taken. Now let's look at how much does road safety cost? So the road safety initiatives or the program or the road clashes, road safety, it's more better to say about road clashes. Road clashes cost about five to seven percentage of NDR's GDP. Five to seven percentage of NDR's GDP, road crashes are estimated to cost the Indian economy between five to seven percent of NDR's GDP a year. Official data shows that each road accident each year, road accidents kill about 1.5 lakh people. Use the NCRB data in this case for 2021. That is the latest one. And most of the victims are, of course, pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. So they are being uh, trashed or damned by big, bigger vehicles or bigger cars. So vehicle engineering is something important and public awareness is something important. <clears throat> Initiatives for road safety at the global level, there are number, number one, third high level, global conference. Globally, as I said, that there is collaboration with respect to different global countries coming in the same spot for the same issue. And that is high level global conference on road safety for achieving high level global conference on road safety for achieving global goals 2030. Third high level global conference on road safety for achieving global goals of 2030. <clears throat> Minister of Road Transport and Highways also conducted a conference in Sweden 2020. <laughs> Conducted a conference in Sweden 2020, and this was third high level global conference on road safety for achieving global goals 2030 by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, <clears throat> where it was conceptualized to have very important zero road fatalities. Zero road fatalities by 2030. A big ambitious goal. You can use it in the start of your answer in, in the introduction part that in the third high level global conference on road safety. Ministry of Road Transport and Highways have pledged that by 2030 we will have a zero road fatalities. And this is an ambitious goal with respect to road safety and preventing road fatalities and road challenges. So, third and fourth. important is Brasilia declaration. Brasilia declaration. India signed this declaration 
and committed to reduction in fatalities. Reduction in fatalities. India signed and committed to reduction in fatalities. Motor Vehicles Amendment Act it hiked the penalties for traffic violations. Hiked penalties. For traffic violations, defective vehicles, juvenile driving. Juvenile driving. So these are the areas which I wanted to highlight related to World Bank's initiative. <clears throat> there is another initiative which I'll tell about Indian government by it's published in MyGov, M-Y-G-O-V, MyGov uh, website. That is called as Sadak Suraksha. Sadak Suraksha, Jeevan Raksha. You can use these taglines in your answer. Even if you don't remember the whole thing, just using the tagline will make the examiner understand that, okay, he knows this. Sarak Suraksha Jeevan Raksha. So, <clears throat> of course, this recognizes that road accidents are a leading cause of death. And MORTH, Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India, has in a joint effort, this is a joint effort of the state and the central government, both to facilitate the implementation of road and safety infrastructure, reduce casualties and mortality. So joint initiative, state and central government to prevent road accidents and fatalities related to that. And there is also something called as India Road Safety campaign, India Road Safety campaign, a not-for-profit, no, not-for-profit organization to lead road safety activities. <clears throat> lead road safety activities. Also for citizen involvement. These are the things which we can give in our answers. <clears throat> 